We're going to take a quick detour here and show some sort of like expert setup tips for how to do this easier with your fly barless system. This happens to be an AR7200. Programming wise, it's identical to the Micro the Micro Beast Pro that comes with the um, the Super Combo. Just happen to have this one available on my workbench. So we're going to start off going into setup menu when we get the A light solid. Going to hold the button down until the A comes on solid. A is mounting orientation, so flat is the blue color here, which is correct. What we need to do is get the initial servo frequencies uh, set up so we don't have any problem or cause any damage. And then it will also use this mode to, to make a few other things easier. So if I go to point B, that is swash plate servo frequency. Blue is 200 hertz, which is great for these DS450Ms. Point C, uh, tail servo center position pulse links. This one is very important. In fact, this is probably the only one that really is. Um, the 455M is a 1,520 microsecond servo, so this light has to be blue. Uh, other servos on the market out there are 760 microseconds. You don't want to plug the tail servo in until after you set this frequency. So with C, we are good. And I can actually plug the tail servo in now and not have to worry about causing any damage. If we're using other servos, it's up to you to decide uh, which frequency you need. So I've got C plugged in. When I go to D, tail servo refresh frequency. D, I've got a blue flash right now, which means I'm uh, resetting, um, I am refreshing that at 333 hertz, which is great for the DS455M. Point E, this is sort of a, we're gonna do something here that makes your life a little easier later. When I go to point E, this servo is fundamentally centered at this point. So what I wanna do, is take the pre-made arm I've got, and I actually have to cut the arms off yet. So we've created a four-way arm. I'm on the middle hole on one of the arms, and all I need to do is clip the remaining arms loose. This is all shown in the manual. And what I'm going to want to do is take this tail servo, which is going to sit in the chassis like this, and put the servo on so the ball link is off to the as close as we can get to 90 when the servo setup is in this mode. And I can just leave that set for right now. I'm going to go to point F, which we'll, we'll come back to later when we actually program the tail. But right now, idle. right now, what I want to do is go to point G on Spectrum on the Air 7200BX and the Micro Beast Pro. Setup mode G is where the servos go to their natural center position if I don't do anything else. So what I have here is I have my servo arms already set up. I've got one built with the servo arm, I'm sorry, two built with the ball link facing to what would be the inside. And the third one is the ball link facing out. So what I need to do for now, just to make my life simpler, is I'm going to put these servo arms on at approximately the middle point. This is about as close as I can get with the servo splines. We haven't done any sub trim yet, but this will make things much simpler later when I start doing the install. So this one's going to go forward. The other inside facing one. And eventually, I've got to get the last servo arm in here, which is the elevator servo and just sort of the hardest one to get to. You got a couple different locations where you can mount the fly barless. I've got big fingers. Everything sort of conspires to get in the way here, but I just want to get this as close as I can to the natural center point. So later when I do the sub trim, I don't have to move it much and everything is sort of preset before I build everything. So what we've done right here, set up point G, I've got all my servos fairly close. I can go ahead and install the servo arm screws with thread lock and go from there. While we're looking around here, I'm going to exit off this menu because I don't have to do anything more here. And power this down just to get stuff out of the way. What I've got is the fly bar is sitting up on the top. Uh, the other option is to bring it in from the bottom. There's a belly mount that can go in there. I think the belly mount makes for a cleaner wiring setup 
but it's a little harder to set up initially and actually do any fly barless flight changes. Um, we're going to be putting the speed fuselage on and off this helicopter at least once or twice. And I wanted to be able to play with the fly barless if anything needed to be tuned from that point. So we're going to leave it like this. Uh, we had previously already set up the servos. We had mounted the servos. Um, we're going to work on wire routing here to see what actually works out to be the best when it's all said and done and come back to that later in the setup video. So for now, I'm essentially ready to slide the tail in, um, bring the main shaft in, and then we can start doing all the fly barless setup, and we'll be back to that shortly.